Chris Christie is justifiably pissed at Trump seemingly cowering away from the debate this Wednesday with multiple people, including myself, thinking a large part of that has to do with Christie himself. They've been at each other's throats recently, mostly with Christie showing no regard and being pretty much the only Republican willing to come directly at Trump for his actions, and Trump doing the rather American thing of being a big guy who's making fun of someone slightly larger than him. No, no, Christie's he's eating right now. He can't be bothered. So NBC had Christie on recently, and he had some rather funny things to say, and I thought it would be interesting to take a look at them. So let's jump into the first clip and see what he has to say. Well, Joe, look, uh, it, you know, if what he were saying were true, which is he's got this great record as president um, and that he's so far ahead, why wouldn't you come onto the stage and take a victory lap and just lap everybody else on the stage? And and you're right. He does. You know, this is a guy who plays macho man at rallies. You know, uh, only people our age, Joe, understand even what that song is, let alone right. what, it, what, what he thinks it means to him. Right. So, you know, all I could say is this. I. If he believes he should be the nominee, if he believes that he's got such a great record, if he believes he's the best person to go against Joe Biden, then show up on Wednesday night and stop being such a coward. Okay, real quick, because we're going to get into the good stuff next, but I think he poses an interesting point here. Trump is Mr. Macho. That's like one of his biggest selling points for his base that they love about him so much. If he really thought he was the runaway candidate, why not gloat? You know, wouldn't the macho thing be to show up to the debate just to take a victory lap, you know, rather than let people speculate that you possibly might be scared? Sounds pretty beta to me, but maybe that's just beta old me, you know. Uh, but let's see what Christie has to say next about Trump's unwillingness to debate. By the time we get on the stage Wednesday, it's possible that Trump could be out on bail in four different jurisdictions. New York, Florida, uh, you know, Washington, D.C., and Atlanta. I mean, I don't think that's a calling card for a strong front runner for President of the United States to be out on bail. If, I mean, what should the first question be for Brett Baer? Could you review for the voters your uh, restriction releases, what you can and can't do <laughs> while being released? So I think, again, Christy, someone I would never vote for in any life, but hitting the nail on the head here, could you imagine Trump post bail? and then directly goes to the debate. I mean, that would be pretty metal if you ask me. But if that was his first question, would the second one be how much that he had to post to get out? I mean, let's be realistic here. Uh, there's a chance that Trump could be in jail, facing never-ending legal problems, court cases, etc. when it comes election time. If not the primary, then the general election, and that's hardly the outlook that anyone should want as the president. And the fact that defending it is like an entire Republican strategy that can build your base tremendously over there kind of shows how lost the party really is. It's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's end this video, though, on seeing what Christie thinks of Trump's team's proposed timeline for dealing with the case and getting into court for the first time. Tell us a little bit more about how that process typically works and, and how much time they actually you actually think they might need. Well, Jen, I'm actually surprised that they didn't ask for a trial date six months after his death certificate was signed. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, I, I got to tell you the truth. I don't get it. You don't need that much time um, uh, at all. And, and the fact is that um, I think that this judge will probably settle in on some time the summer of 2024. I think if you get so Christie again, just showing a willingness to be honest where others on the right have not. And, you know. A little bit funny too if we're being honest i'm sure his team's aim was as far away from the election as they could get and hope that the judge settles you know after the election because a sitting president is exactly what we need going to jail so he could just 
part himself is what really matters then, right? But the judge, in all likeliness, isn't going to be willing to play Trump's game, uh, isn't going to be light on this. She's shown to be hard on the January 6th stuff as a whole. She's an Obama-appointed judge, not a Trump-appointed judge, so she's not going to be willing to just play into his hand. Uh, you know, fingers crossed, at least, let's hope. We won't know until he gets in there. And hopefully we see a court case in the summer of 2024, like Christy was speaking of. Christy himself, you will see on the debate stage on Wednesday, something I will be covering. It'll be 9 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're not subscribed, if you're not sticking around the channel already, make sure you do so so you don't miss out on any of the coverage of the election running ups as a whole and especially this debate on Wednesday because it's showing to be a spicy one. If you enjoyed that video, we are Social Society. We are a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're also open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. And we also get a little philosophical and a touch bit psychological at times. You know, we like to analyze. If that sounds like something that might interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button. What are you doing? Leave us a like or even comment on this video because the only way we become a society is together.